everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make this shawl here it's very pretty i will say it is an advanced pattern probably beginners are free to try but it is an advanced stitch okay you're going to need to know how to do picots and clusters like double crochet three togethers and and stuff like that but i mean you're more than welcome to try but this is a, an advanced stitch now i'm going to give you uh the length of mine it's too long to to spread out but it's 82 about 82 inches long and then the width is about 16 inches if you do not count the fringe now if you count the fringe um it's about i don't know 23 24 inches if you count the fringe and this is what it looks like. It's actually a very pretty stitch. But like I said, it is a little bit advanced. I like it. I like I like it done up in white. It's really pretty, but I think um, any pr pretty or any color would work well. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you the yarn that I used. So the yarn I use is Rowan Cotton Cashmere. Now, you don't have to use this yarn, but I did purchase this yarn at Hobium, and they also have it for sale other places. It is an 85 cotton, 15 cashmere blend. Now, there are, to read about it here, oh, it's a lightweight three. Now, you don't have to use a lightweight three. I will give you the multiple so you can uh, use a, a different yarn if, if you want to. Um, but there are 137 yards there per ball. I went through eight balls of this at 137 yards um, each. One ball I used completely for the fringe. So if you're not, if you're wanting to make it my size and you don't want to put fringe on it, seven balls at 137 yards each will be enough. So you can go ahead and figure. Um, that up a little over a thousand yards if you want the fringe um, a little under if you don't and then I'm gonna be um, I used a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook and that's what I recommend for the lightweight three to give it a nice drape now if you want to use a four weight I'd recommend going up to six and a half millimeter if you want to use anything below a three weight um, I would definitely drop down to like an I I wouldn't go too much lower. I five, I five and a half because you still want it to keep a nice drape. Okay, I'm going to show you on a smaller scale with a different color yarn because you're not going to be able to see that white yarn very well. Now, this stitch is done in a multiple of six plus four, which means your beginning chain needs to be divisible by six. And then you add four more chains to it. So following along with me, you want to start out with a chain of 256 stitches. Okay, once you get your chain of 256 stitches, I am um, going to show you on a smaller scale. What you want to do is we're going to be working half double crochets. Now you want to work a half double crochet in the sixth stitch from the hook. You don't count the one that's on a hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that sixth one, we're going to work a half double crochet. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, and half double into the next. And that's kind of what we're going to do for the length of our chain. We're going to chain one, skip one, half double into the next. Chain one, skip one, half double into the next. I am half doubling. I'm not doing a double. I just do, I do my half doubles weird. So it looks like I'm going, doing it twice, but. I am going through all three loops. <laughs> Chain one, skip one, half double into the next. Chain one, skip one, and half double into the next. And you want to do this until you get to the end of your row. Okay, when you're coming to the end, 
Um, I just did a half double crochet there and I'm going to chain one and you should have two stitches that remain. Go ahead and do a half double crochet into that last stitch. Following along with me, you will have 126 chain spaces now. And that's counting this big one here at the end. So counting that one, you will have 126 chain spaces. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to row two. We are going to chain one and turn our work. This part is a little bit tricky because you're working in half double crochets and they always look weird. So what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet in every chain one space and in every half double crochet. So half double crochets, the top of them kind of hang off to the left side a little bit. You can see that? So what you're gonna do is go right back into that first one there and put a single crochet. And you also want to go into this chain space here and put a single crochet. And the next stitch is a half double. So it's this little stitch here that's hanging off to the side here on the left. It's just, it's, they, I don't know, half doubles are weird looking sometimes. Go into that. that, that'll be going into your half double. And then you go in single crochet into your chain space. Just to clarify for our half double, we're not going into that space there that hole we're going into the top of the half double which is over here kind of to the left of the stitch single crochet into that and into the chain space and then single crochet into the half double and into the chain space and we're going to do this until we get to the end. Single crochet into the half double and into the chain space. All the way until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I am coming to the end of my row and this part is kind of important here. Okay, so here is my last half double crochet. You see it hanging off to the side. You want to put a single crochet into that. And then you want to put a single crochet through this space. And then you also want to end in a single crochet in the fourth chain from oh you count down here one two three four single crochet there so that's how you end it so there was a single crochet in that last half double remember it's kind of hanging off on the side and then you went single crochet directly through the chain space and then you put a single crochet in the fourth uh stitch of this chain here now following along with me you should have a total of 253 single crochets at the end of row two. Now row three, we're gonna start, and row three is going to start the repeat. So it's a repeat of rows three, four, five, and six. So it's a four row repeat. So for row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are gonna start off with a single crochet into the very first stitch. So right here, the very first one, and put a single crochet into it like that and now we are going to chain two one two and we are going to skip two stitches skip skip and in the next stitch we're going to do a V stitch so we skipped two we're gonna do a V stitch in the next so we're gonna do a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet into the same stitch so that is what our V stitch is double crochet chain one double crochet now we're going to chain two 
skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. Now on this single crochet here, we are going to work a pico. So what we're going to do is chain three. One, two, three. Now some people work a pico by slip stitching back into the first chain of your chain three. You can do that if that's how you prefer. I don't do that. I actually slip stitch into the side of my single crochet. So what I do is I come back down and this single crochet here that we just worked in, I kind of go through these two loops right there and then I do a slip stitch. I think that makes the pico a little bit more pronounced and makes it a little bit more not so floppy. Okay, now we're going to kind of repeat what we just did. So we're going to do a chain of two and we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and we're going to v-stitch into the next. So we're going to do a double crochet, a chain of one, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Then we're going to chain two again. We are going to skip two, skip, skip, and we're going to single into the next. Now on this single, we will do a pico. So we will chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to go back down and slip stitch kind of in the side of the single crochet that we just made. Slip stitch. There we go. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to do it again. Skip two, one, two, and in the next, we do a V stitch. So we double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain two, skip two, skip, skip. In the next, we're going to single crochet and pico on top of it. So we chain three and go back down into the side of your single and slip stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of our row. Okay, I have come to the end of row three. I just did a V stitch and I have three stitches that remain. I want to make sure I chain two after that last V stitch, skip two stitches and single crochet into the last stitch like that. And now following along with me, you should have a total of 42 V stitches. So 42 of the V stitches is what you'll have following along with me. So row, row four, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to work shells now. Well, double crochet three togethers to make a shell. So we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right here into this very first single crochet. Like that. Okay, so we're only going to be working in the, v, the chain one of the v, stitch, v stitches for this row. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet, double crochet three together uh, cluster shell. I guess that's what you can call it. So we're going to be working in this space right here. So we're going to start by yarning over and working a double crochet three together in this chain space right here of the first V stitch. So we yarn over, draw up a loop, and yarn over, go through the first two loops on our hook. We need to do that three times. That would be number one. Again. That's two, one more time. That's three. You should have four loops that remain on your hook. Yarn over and go through all four loops and then you're gonna do a chain of two, like that. We wanna repeat this again. So kind of slide it over and we're gonna do it all in this same V stitch. So we're gonna yarn over and do another double crochet three together. So we're gonna go in Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. We're going to do that three times. So that was number one. Two times. Three times. You should have four loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all four and chain two. Again, we want to do one more double crochet 
three together in the same space. So go ahead and slide them on over. And we're going to do our double crochet three together again. Four loops on my hook. Yarn over and go through all four. Now I'm only going to do a chain of one this time. Okay? Now that's what we're going to repeat in every V stitch. So we're going to jump, we're going to skip this pico, skip these chain spaces, and work into the next V stitch. We're going to do this shell, double crochet cluster shell again. So we're going to go ahead and yarn over, go into the chain space of the V stitch, and work a double crochet three together. There's one, and then we're going to chain two, slide it over, do it again, another double crochet, three together. Chain two, so there's two double crochet, three together, slide it over, we need to do it one more time. Double crochet, three together in the same spot. And then we're just going to chain one just like that now this is what we're going to do in every v stitch space till we get to the end of the row go ahead i'll go ahead and do it one more time for you so we skip the chain spaces in the pico and we work in the middle of the v stitch so we are going to do a double crochet three together chain two slide it over do another double crochet three together chain two slide it over do another double crochet three together and the last one we only chain one now I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end or to my last V stitch. I'm going to go ahead and do um, my cluster or shell cluster into my last V stitch and I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I've come to the end of row four. I did my last cluster here and make sure you chain one after it. And then I'm going to go ahead and end by putting a double crochet into the top of my last stitch and you will have a total of 42 of these double crochet cluster shells okay so now we're going to start row five row five we're going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to do half doubles again so we are going to do a half double crochet into this very first stitch here so we'll go right into it and work a half double crochet then we are going to chain one and we're going to work a half double crochet into the next chain two space of our cluster and then we're going to chain one and we're going to work a half double crochet into the next chain two space of our cluster and then we're going to chain one and we're gonna now we're gonna work a half double crochet in this chain one space here that's right above this pico so just work a half double crochet right through that space and chain one and we're going to repeat that so we are going to go into the next chain space of our cluster and half double crochet chain one the next chain space of our cluster half double crochet chain one and then we're going to do a half double crochet right here in this chain one space right above the pico chain one and we're going to repeat half double crochet into the next chain space of the cluster chain one half double crochet into the next chain space of the next cluster chain one 
and half double crochet in this chain one space right above or the one that's right above this pico here so just go right through there half double crochet chain one and you want to repeat this until you get to the end of the row okay when you come to the end here I just did a half double crochet into the chain two space of my last cluster I chained one I'm gonna go ahead and end by half double crocheting into my last stitch following along with me you should have a total of 126 chain spaces that will end row five row six last row of the repeat we are going to chain one and turn our work now this is where we work in the half doubles and it gets a little weird so because the half double the top of the half double kind of hangs to the side so we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet into the top of the very first half double and then a single crochet into the chain space and a single crochet into the top of the half double which is this little spot right here and a single crochet into the chain space so it's very similar to what we did on row two single crochet into the top of the half double which is all which remember is not this spot here but it's this little hangover here to the left that's actually the top of the half double that's why I hate using half doubles <laughs> because they're weird okay and then we go into this chain space and single crochet single crochet into the top of the half double single crochet into the chain space and we're going to do this until we get to the end of the row okay i've come to the end of round six now remember that's the round you have to really be careful on because those half doubles and the chain spaces they kind of run into each other so make sure you keep your count you're going to go ahead i just did a single crochet into this chain last chain space and i'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the last stitch following along with me you should have a total of 253 single crochets so that's it you want to repeat rows three four five and six until you get to your desired length now i did i will put timestamps um in the comment section it'll be pinned to the top it'll be a comment from bag of day crochet and it'll have timestamps to the video um, I did a total of, I made mine, like I said, approximately 16 inches or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of, sh of, of the shells. So if that helps you keep count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And you end in a single crochet row. So yeah, you'll end in a complete repeat row. Now, if you want to add fringe, I'll show you how to add fringe. It's very, very easy to do. Um, so you get your work where it's facing right side up actually right side can be any side that you want it to be I made the right side where the clusters were uh, the stitches of the cluster were, the, were facing right side up and you can do fringe if you want now you can do fringe any manner really that you want you can do it thicker than mine you can do fringe in every of one of these chain spaces down here i did i put a, a strand of fringe in the middle of every one of my shells see that so here's a shell a middle here's the middle of it i put it in the chain space right below the middle of every shell so here's the next shell here's that middle one i put it in the chain space right below but you can do it however you want now how i did the fringe take it off and show you it's very very easy to do and that is if you choose to do it it'll look beautiful um, either way so I cut off about I cut off six strands of yarn um, approximately 12 inches okay and I put my six strands together and this is how you add fringe so you figure out where you want to put it like I showed I was going to put it in the middle so here's the middle shell of my or the middle cluster of my shell yeah, I'm going to do it in the chain space below it so all you have to do is you work from the top you can just grab it from the bottom put your fingers on the bottom and grab it and pull it through from the bottom from the top to the bottom like that and make them even them up like that 
and then you take these strands and you pull them through that loop and then tie it like that and then I'll do it again here go ahead and take this one off show you real quick yeah my let's see so the next place I put it here was my cluster shell so here's my middle cluster and I put it in the chain space right below so you take your six strands or however many strands you can do 100 strands if you want to <laughs> have everything you want your friends to be and you go from the bottom with your fingers and you pull these strands from top through the bottom of the hole like this see that go ahead and put your fingers through there like that and then you kind of get them even right here as best as you can and then take them and pull them right through that loop and then when you get done you can go um, at the end and trim them up and make them all even so that's it that's all there is to it remember this is an advanced pattern but you know if you make this i'd really love to see a picture of it you can uh, show me a picture uh, of this or anything that you make crochet knit i'd love to look at yarn hauls new yarn anything on instagram um hashtag bag de crochet and i will check it out thanks everybody for watching um don't forget to give this a like um and subscribe if you haven't already uh and everybody please stay safe